Okay, the custom ROM is now giving you a lot of features and a lot of customizations. I'm talking about Horizon Droid Custom ROM, which is now based on the latest Android 15 already, but having the latest version, which is having the June security patch, because uh, I am just using it from past two or three months. I mean, almost regularly using, not day-to-day -day use I'm talking about, but I tried almost every update. So yes, things are quite getting improving now. From some time, it is getting improved. The default launcher is now Pulse Launcher, which is based on Launcher 3, having all the similar features and customizations as compared to some of the other launchers, which are also based on Launcher 3. But some of the things might be here and there, but most of the things shall remain same. Same thing goes with the recent panel. The clear all button at the top looks good and some other actions like split screen and also have the option for screenshot and lock app. So that's quite normal. There's nothing unique about this thing, but it is available. So just wanted to let you know. Move on to the quick settings panel. You will notice this is in light mode. So that is a good thing. Including that the quick settings panel also have the header images, have the option for some more tweaks. One thing, if you hold that settings icon, it will not redirect you to the Horizon Droid settings like it usually does with some of the most customizable rooms. But that is not a big deal and of course it's not a bug, but it's completely okay. We, quick, we have some quick settings options available in this case, so you can enable the data usage option like brightness percentage option too, and some options related to header images which I just shown you. Including that the settings UI does not have anything unique in this case. It's simple, minimal looking settings UI, which is obviously fine. And also have the Horizon Labs, which brings you all the features and customizations. Still, this is not one of the most customizable custom rooms like we have Evolution X OS, we have Rising OS, we have Project Infinity X, but it is still bringing you some very useful and amazing options and customizations. Also have the option for this HDR display so you can enable the peak brightness for HDR content including that with this new update we have the new seek bar which is inspired from Android 16, Android 16 QPR update that brings you this kind of seek bar and it's available with this custom room, it's available with some other custom rooms too, Horizon Droid is just one of them. It also supports sidebar, so in case you use multitasking, if you do multitasking, you want to launch apps in floating windows and sidebar is here for you. I personally don't use it much, so that's why I don't talk about it much, but it's available, so yes, you can use it. Battery section, this is the new UI which you have in battery section, which is obviously fine, but has the option for charging control, that's good. And power tools that might be device specific, like in this case, I'm using Poco F5. I most of the times use Poco F5 for custom ROM reviews because this device is just one of the best options right now. If you want to experience a lot of custom ROMs for your device, for on, on if you want to try out many custom ROMs, Including that some options which are available with more security and privacy options, you will see hide developer status from apps and hiding the screen capture status. That is also good. We also have this we also have this status bar action chip option have we I have the option for ongoing action chip and also have the option for media progress, have the option for progress indicator and some more things which you can configure. This is not the normal action chip setting which is available with some other custom ROMs too, but we have some more options to configure in this case. If you move on to theming options, many theming options are actually missing. For example, icon pack and icon shape, those things are available in wallpapers and style section, but a specific options like we have in Project Infinity X and so on are not present in this case. The back gesture seems to be a good one. It is available with XCN AOSP. It's available with Rising OS. So it is something like that. And also if you take a look at the volume panel, this is also changed as compared to many other custom rooms. It's quite minimal and it's just totally up to you. If you like this thing or not, it's totally up to you. If you move on to the notification section, we do not have like the option for island notification that is missing right now, but we have edge lighting, ambient customization and so on. Same goes with the lock screen, does not have the option for lock screen clock styles, but some options brings you battery info and also have the option of hiding the all quick settings when your device is locked. If you move on to gesture navigation, you will see this show IME button space. If you disable this thing, you will be able to disable the space below the keyboard and that is always one of my favorite features out there. Everything else is just similar like unlimited photo storage and storage encryption spoofing and apps downgrade and so on. If you're looking forward to play integrity fix, most of the custom rooms are not giving you that. So you can install modules to fix play integrity on your device.
this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one take care